Today on the Comic Book Review Show, Adventurous Ones, we're checking out Void Rivals issues 1 through 6. This is the first volume of the new Trans Energon universe that's leading into a brand new G.I. Joe, Transformers, and this new series began it all. Let's get started. Adventurous Ones for more comic book review goodness. I am your host as always, master of all the multiverses, Josie... Josie... <laughs> yeah, Josie and the Pussycats out there. Uh, no, Joseph Michaels, the Adventurous Joe. <laughs> Dang it, Josie. <laughs> wow, that flew out left field quicker than Sandusky, Ohio. Anyways, let's get started with this episode of the comic book review, and it is for the new Daniel Warren Johnson series, Void Rivals. Now, Dan Daniel Warren Johnson has created a whole new universe since Image took over Transformers, okay, and got the rights to Transformers, G.I. Joe, and quite a few others. And they are creating a whole new universe. And it starts right here with Void Rivals. Now this series is amazingly good. I had read the first six issues. I'm still reading more of them, the past issue six. And I gotta tell you right now, you are missing out if you have not read this series. Because it's about two warring factions desperate in desperate need of resources and stuff, okay? These two end up on the same planet together, and it's because they were chasing a, a comet that would have provided them with the resources they needed and everything. But, now, the reason why it's called Void Rivals is because of the two that are in this, the two the main characters that are in this, are Darok, and Tolton is it Tula or Tola or something like that? Uh, they don't know. They are the same skin color, species, and everything else in between it. Okay, and it turns out she, they're both. You know, both their warring factions are not what everything thinks they are. For one. Void Rivals starts with the fact that these two crashed on the planet together and stuff. And Derek's hand droid, yes, he has a, a mechanical, he has a robotic hand that, you know, it, it's a glove. It's not really his actual hand. Okay, he wears this thing called a hand droid. And it's supposed to give him information and everything else in between it. Really, the hand droid is the comic relief of this whole thing. Because... He literally will tell off both of them more than once, and sometimes he sides with Tula over <laughs> Dara, his owner. And he's like, whose side are you on anyway? And uh, just like uh, they end up later getting, uh, getting rescued and stuff, and they find something on this planetoid, okay? Something that's going to play very important in Transformers, in the Transformers series. But, you'll find that out when we do our review on Transformers next. Because this new series had me going straight to the end. You know, I was enjoying it. I started laughing about certain things. Like when she gets mad at him in for the first issue. She gets mad at him and she's literally, she's literally walking away and stuff. And all of a sudden, she's come, she's scurrying back. She's literally like, uh, just like stomping away, like uh, you know, oh, oh, I'm in a huff and stuff. But then next, the next thing you saw in the the same panel, the same panel, she's coming scurrying back like a cartoon. Character. She's coming running back like a freaking cartoon character. <laughs> and she's like, uh, you gotta see something. I found something. And it turns out 
And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to give you a spoiler warning. If you don't want to hear this, mute it now, okay? Because in Void Rivals issue number one, we find Jetfire on this planetoid. Otherwise known as Skyfire from the Gen 1 cartoon. And he finds out it's been millions of years. Millions of years since he went missing since he freaking couldn't didn't know what was going on with uh, Cybertron or anything else in between it he doesn't even know that there was a war, a war got started he he was one he left on a mission to help save their world and he got lost and when he awoke to the to the two of them you know, walking around on him and stuff. He suddenly just woke up, transformed into his robotic form, and the two of them are sitting there looking up at him like, uh, uh oh. <laughs> and uh, he's trying to get, you know, tell them, you know, where am I? Do you know where I am? Where, what, what year is this? And everything else in between it. And they couldn't answer him. They didn't even know where they were. So, it, it's, it's an amazing series. The first six issues are fantastic. You gotta read this series. And before you read Daniel Warren Johnson's Transformers, before you read his upcoming G.I. Joe stuff that's going on right now and everything, read Void Rivals. You're gonna find lots of surprises in every issue. So much tying together Gen 1 Transformers to this series. And I gotta tell you right now, it's worth it. If you want to read it for yourself and don't want to hunt down every single issue, because believe me, there's like a third, five, third, fourth, or fifth printing right now of issue one alone, and uh, and then second issue is so on and so forth. Okay, if you don't want to hunt down that whole series, follow the link down in the description below to Amazon.com, where Void Rivals ish, Volume One is right there and you can get it for under twenty dollars the trade paperback contains the first six issues of the that we're talking about right now the first six issues are volume one and you're gonna want to read every single ish point of this of that trade paperback let alone you know like you were reading the normal comics and stuff because there's funny moments in this. It had me laughing, enjoy, and I was enjoying myself. But it was also moments in it that was just like, uh, what? How? What? Yeah, it, it it's that kind of a book. When that's that kind of a comic that has you wanting to enjoy from laughter, sadness, or anything else in between it, when it's enjoyable like that, that's something really worth your time and really good. So, make sure you head down in the description below to Amazon.com. Follow that link. Go to there and purchase Void Rivals Volume 1, which contains the first six issues of this series. So, what do you think, Adventurous Ones? Was this worth... Is this worth your time? Would you read this series before you... Get in on the Energon universe that's going on right now. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on anything we got going on in 2024. Lots more on the way, and you don't want to miss out on a single thing we got coming up. So until the next one, my adventurous ones, peace out. May the force be with all of you. Every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, pets, loved ones in general. And God bless all of you out there. And until the next one, my adventurous ones, I will see you all later.